Hi, Chris here from The Financial Bishop, where we make personal finance easy and accessible and fun for everyone. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Mint Mobile. The mobile service, I've been using it for now for uh, a few months, over three months, and we're going to talk about how you can earn an extra 170 plus thousand dollars by switching to Mint Mobile. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that today. I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people, and I was one of them, who paid exorbitant amounts of money every month for a cell phone plan. Um, I'm not one who uses a whole lot of data. So the problem is most cell phone plans are extremely expensive. I called up my brother just a minute ago uh, and he told me for two people, uh, he spends $180 plus per month for his, uh, for his cell phone plan. So what would that look like for Mint Mobile? It would only be $33 a month. And the beautiful thing is you actually prepay, so or you can prepay for the most premium savings. So you can pay a one lump sum money per year, and then you don't have to pay for the rest of the year. And you can put money back every month into maybe an investment account and earn extra money before you actually uh, pay the next year. So it's kind of a win-win for you. I went ahead and renewed for a full year. It cost me $201.92 for the whole year and I'm done. I get three gigs of data per month, unlimited talk and text per month, and I get to uh, save every month for the next year. And I put that money in an investment account, maybe a short-term treasury bond or uh, an intermediate term treasury bond, or even a, you know, a total bond market fund earning around you know 2% ish, uh, one and a half, two 2%. Uh, and so I get to earn a little extra money for that. And the difference that I, that I have between what I would have spent and what I'm spending now, I go ahead and invest the difference. So how do you make $171,000 plus by switching to Mint Mobile? If we assume two people are spending $180 a month uh, versus $33 a month that you would be spending with Mint Mobile, you take the difference, which is $147, and you invest in VTI, Vanguard Total Market Fund, um, over a 30-year period, so a you know, lifetime of working, you easily have $171,000 extra. That's after inflation. So if you add in, if you're just talking about nominal numbers, <laughs> that's a much bigger number. But what, what that actually represents for today's dollars, what is that? $171,000 extra, just by switching your cell phone plan to Mint Mobile. So what are the pros for switching to Mint Mobile? For me, it's absolutely worked seamlessly. I get three gigs of data, unlimited talk and text, and if I walk away from Wi-Fi um, calling, you know, it just works. It just switches over automatically. Uh, now, I don't have an Apple smartwatch or anything that's going to hook up to uh, to the phone uh, that way. So, um, you know, user beware. Uh, check their the website and check their policy on uh, those extra gadgets and whether that'll work for you. But for me, it was super easy to set up. It was seamless and it just works. So for me and my money, I love it. And I highly recommend that you check it out. Give it a three month trial, see if it works well for you. They use T-Mobile cell phone towers. And since T-Mobile just merged with Sprint, that has expanded even greater. So as far as coverage goes, excellent. So as you can see on this map, it has excellent coverage. And you can see over here that they have instructional videos and it can just walk you through how to do this process. I did it in about 20 minutes, super easy, and then you're done. For the price, you can't beat it. Sidebar, if you're using an iPhone or another device on a different platform with a different cell phone service like AT&T, I was with AT&T and I just Googled how to unlock your phone with AT&T and it was a simple process. I didn't have to spend extra money or anything like that in order to unlock the phone. Mint Mobile sent me a little mini microchip and I opened up my cell phone and took out the AT&T SIM card 
and put in the new Mint Mobile SIM card. Easy peasy. They have instructional videos on how to do it. Uh, I did it in about 20 minutes. It was really painless. Uh, it was just stupid easy. If you're a world traveler uh, like I am, I love to travel, as you can probably see in the background. Uh, they do offer international cell phone coverage. You would just add more money to your account for those international plans. And rates and all of those will apply depending on where you're where you're going. Uh, so you could just check out the Mint Mobile app uh, or the Mint Mobile website to see what those are. Uh, I haven't used it internationally yet, so once I do, I will get back to you. Um, but as far as within the United States, it has been a fantastic service. With regards to cons, for me in my situation, you know, I'm mostly I work at home or I work in the office. And, uh, you know, if I'm out and about, then the, you know, the cell phone works just fine. I haven't had any issues. So, you know, for the cons, I just don't know what that would be. Uh, if you have uh, an Apple watch, it may not sync to that. And so that might be a deal breaker for you. But for me, I don't have one of those, so it's not a big deal. And again, you know, for me, I use a, an iPhone and it was super easy to switch that over and use my iPhone for uh, for their service. And one thing that I didn't like about a lot of plans and a lot of different services that I was looking at is they had a real issue with moving my iPhone over into their platform or their their uh, system doesn't play nice with it. And they, you know, they kind of hemmed and hawed about, well, yeah, you can do this and, you know, uh, but it may not work just right. For me and my experience, it's been flawless, seamless, fantastic. I, I really can't say enough good things about it. And it's stupid inexpensive. For me, it's with taxes and everything, $16 a month. And again, for a whole year, I paid $201.92. Stupid inexpensive. I don't have to pay for the rest of the year. I can take the monthly bill that I was you know, paying uh, and invest it in VTI or, um, you know, or an intermediate term treasury bond fund or any other kind of, you know, investment products. Uh, but if you want the most bang for your buck, I would say invest in a low cost index fund like VTI, Vanguard Total Market Index Fund, or, uh, which is the ETF version, or the mutual fund version, VTSAX, Vanguard Total Stock Market Fund, uh, mutual fund version. And if so. you're wondering, how do I invest using the Vanguard platform? Well, I've got a video for you. Check it out below. I mean, even if you use it for just a 10 year period and invested the difference, that 147 a month would turn into $25,000. That's a significant amount of money. And that's without having to work one extra hour, not one extra minute for that money. It's just money that is earned for you, it's passive income for you without doing anything extra other than switching to the Mint Mobile and investing that money. But you're not actually working for that money. That's just extra free money. I hope you can see the benefit here. And again, to me, it's a no brainer. It's stupid easy, it's stupid reliable, and it's stupid inexpensive. I freaking love this system. It allows me to invest more money every month. And again, if you're thinking about financial independence, the best way that you can do that is to optimize your bills and optimize your life so that you can have a higher investment rate. So it's not just your savings rate. What's most important is what is your investment rate? How much money per month of that paycheck are you investing long term for your financial freedom? You can take the money that you're saving every month and invest it in a low cost index fund. And in 30 years, you'll have an extra 171 plus thousand dollars after inflation. That is real in today's dollars money. And again, you're not working any extra time, any extra years. It's just completely passive money that is going into your pocket, into your future, into your portfolio so that you can reach your financial freedom goal. I don't know about you, but when I found out that I was going to be saving that kind of money, uh, I got pretty excited. 
and I hope this is exciting for you. So in conclusion, Mint Mobile, excellent. It is reliable, it is inexpensive, and it is just stupid easy. I don't know what else to tell you. If you find a better service, let me know. But for me, this has been a fantastic experience. So thanks, Ryan Reynolds. I appreciate you. If you haven't checked out my other videos, check out the links below uh, where we talk about single expense financial independence. And we even look at my monthly uh, Mint Mobile bill and how much I need in investments in order to uh, be financially independent for that one bill. Hint, it's only like $6,000. And then I will have that bill taken care of for life. So anyway, check it out. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up uh, and hit subscribe below. Every week we're gonna be coming back here to learn about financial independence and how uh, we can fight for our financial freedom together. We'll see you next week. Thank you.